Alright, this is the next project I have going on. The home AC unit stopped working and uh, I determined that it was the capacitor that's bad so it's got to be uh, changed out. Fortunate for me, I have a few on hand so I won't have to wait for the parts to come in. I already have them. Uh, this is a pretty relatively simple repair as it goes for HVAC system. Something a homeowner could do himself if he takes the proper precautions and uh, part of those precautions are shutting off all the power. You're going to want everything off. Air handler, outside condensing unit, the whole works. You want it off. That way you don't stand any uh, chances of crossing and, and accidentally blowing out boards or your contact over there. You want to do this as safely and quickly as possible without any risk or harm to yourself. So, moving on to the capacitor. I went ahead and cleaned off all the rust on here so I could read where the fan was, where the hermetic was, and where the common was. And I got that all set up and I went ahead and marked it off with a sharpie just in case. Took some pictures for the, uh, for the wiring to make sure I get it back in the proper terminals. And then you, uh, even though the AC unit itself is off, no power going to it, you're going to want to go ahead and discharge this by touching the common and the fan with an insulated non-chrome screwdriver type thing. Hit this and then the same thing with the hermetic and the common on the other side and then you'll safely discharge that and you can go ahead and handle it. And then uh, we'll go in and take a look at the new uh, capacitor right now and uh, test it and make sure it's uh, ready to go. Okay, now next up is we need to test this new capacitor that I have and make sure that it's running properly. Uh, there's a few numbers on here. Let me see if I can focus in on them so you can see what I'm talking about. Whoop, go the other way. Alright. So, on my unit, it's a 45 and 7.5 microfarad capacitor with a 440 HVAC. Now you can go from 370 if that's what yours is up to a 440 but you can't do it in reverse. You can't go from a 4040 down to a 370 so keep that in mind. Um, now these things are labeled on the inside you have the hermetic here, you have the fan here, and the common over here. So it'll be easy to reconnect this back up. I really didn't get into discussing the wiring out there, the color of it, because every unit is different as far as the color codes on their wiring. Uh, mine is a train unit so it'll carry the train colors that are typical with that. So next up we need to take a multimeter and your multimeter is going to have to be able to read capacitance or microfarads. And what you're going to want to do is turn the unit on, put your black to common, and get a reading. And we'll test the hermetic first, and we'll get a reading. And you can see that it's 44.85 on the hermetic. Then we're going to switch over to the fan, and the fan is 7.70, so it's a good capacitor, it's ready to be changed out, and then we'll crank the unit up to make sure it's up and running again. Alright, everything's set up, service panel's been reinstalled, I just have to turn the unit on, make sure that it's working properly. Be back in a moment. Everything's back up and running again and everything's in good order. Hope this video is a help to some people, some homeowners that may be interested. Like I uh, was saying earlier, this is not rocket science, but precautions need to be taken when dealing with uh, high voltage electricity. And since you are the homeowner, you do have access to the electrical system, so you should be able to shut everything off, work on the unit safely, 
especially an item like this that usually goes out on a weekend and uh, it's hard to get a repairman out. Just a little fore forethought, planning, getting the parts that you need ahead of time so if you do get caught in a bind, you have them readily available. Take your time, label everything, take pictures, whatever it takes, and you can do it yourself. Alright, that's it on this video.